Good day. Welcome to our second lesson in Chemistry for Engineers. Our lesson for today is Energy and Chemistry. Our learning objectives are understand the relationship of chemistry and energy, classify the different forms of energy, explain the energy conversion, state the law of conservation of energy, know the principles of thermochemistry, differentiate exothermic reaction from endothermic reaction, and define and apply the principle of a specific heat. Our topic outlines nature of energy, forms of energy, conversion of energy, law of conservation of energy, thermochemistry, endothermic reaction, exothermic reaction, and a specific heat. Nature of energy. Modern civilization is possible because of people have learned how to change energy from one form to another and then use it to do work. People use energy to walk and ride bicycle, to move cars along roads and boats through water, to cook food on stoves, to make ice cream in freezers, to light our homes and offices, to manufacture products, and to send astronauts into space. Scientists define energy as the ability to do work. Energy is essential to life and all living organisms. Our energy choices and decisions impact Earth's natural system in ways we may not be aware of. So it is essential that we choose our energy sources carefully. The true cost of energy is more than just dollars and cents. There are important economic, political, and social factors and consequences to consider as well. Energy may exist in potential, kinetic, thermal, electrical, chemical, nuclear, or other various forms which, which we will be tackled in the next slides. Energy can be transferred in one of two ways, as heat or as work. Energy is the process of transfer from one body to another. After it has been transferred, energy is always designated according to its nature. Heat is the term given to energy that is transferred from a hot, ob hot object to a cooler object due to, the, due to the difference in their temperatures. Hence, heat transfer may become thermal energy. While work is a term given to energy that is transferred as a result of a force applied over a distance. Work done may be manifest in self in the form of mechanical energy. Energy we use to power everything from our homes to schools and workplace comes from a variety of different sources. This can be broken down into renewable and non-renewable energy sources. The following are the units of energy that commonly use in computation. Now, try this one. Perform each of the following con conversion. And again, your answer must be posted in the comment section of this video.